What, what you're seeing, Robert, is, is things about three quarters of the way through. Some pieces are missing, some are not. Uh, this is a fascia. Um, there are three sets in London Assurance. There's Belgravia, which is great ground and, and sort of regency for Sir Harcourt. It's very cool. He goes to Gloucestershire in the country and to a place called Oak Hall. And this is a little Gothic version of that. And um, uh, the, the, the last act, it's the exterior of Oak Hall and the interior later on. So this unit here is one, one piece that'll turn round, on the, not in the, the audience, but the windows are very important from uh, scene two to act, act two. The, um, uh, and again, to look like a 19th century, it's like a little 19th century painting. And it's theatrical, it's larger than life. Uh, it's not coming as realism at all, it's much, much larger than life. It's a false proscenium, and this has the young Victoria above the lion, the unicorn. This is the, the model of the scan, with Victoria Regina. Um, we've used pool noodles, which are those the things children play with in the pool, which is easy to carve. There's ethophone tube, there's all sorts of things we've used, we can, that is malleable to glue together to help sculpt things. It's a larger version of this, but wire. But all this is, um, this is the muffler tape, which is tough as can be. It goes around wire, and it glues itself together instantly. It's great fun to use, and it's um, another variation of the masking tape. And if you were to start to paint, what would you paint? Not much. Not much, because this is the light wood. This is when mine caused the chalk. There's a little kind of skitter on this, a little on this, the chalk, because the, the, the modeling will do that, as, to, as opposed to painting like on, on South Pacific, which is painting, painting, you know? Right. It's like the, what, the, what this light is doing, we'll do it on, on stage. Even the windows through here are, are masking tape um, and some acetate, because if you don't fill in all the windows, they look a lot more like the glass if some are missing. Strange though it seems, because you see through that, it's what old glass does, you know. It, it, if you look at it, it looks dark, light and pale. It's, um, uh, and old glass is tends to be lovely, but if you're trying to do real glass, you can't. It's much more fun doing it like this. Let me show you a trick in the mirror. This is when you get to work with really fantastic people. These are made by Kenny Doublesteam, who's in props at Stranford, who's a genius and a super friend, has been my both my arms and my hands on this. All of nearly all of this is that it's over there. Can I ask him in? Yeah, sure. This is Kenny and Eric. No, it is. <laughs> um, these two gentlemen, are, the, the three of us, we're like the three musketeers, all for one and one for all. But this is Kenny's concoction. And these ones, because this is going to come as a mirror. Because if you see, there's a, there's going to be a gauze screen in here with um, some more stuff on it. So we repeat um, the, vase, the vases, all made of paper and light, so that uh, from an audience point of view, you'll trick them into thinking there's a glass there, but there isn't. Because you can't use real glass on stage anyway. For safety or for Safety, expense, boring, boring. Boring, boring, Much boring, more fun boring. to trick them. But you, all this hard work you've seen in paper down, these two guys have done with them. Um, Kenny and I have worked together a lot over the years in, in Stratford, and he saved my life more Quite than once. <laughs> so and himself has just been indoctrinated into it. So we were talking about the collaboration and how, you know, like the word collaboration, but no. how does it work together with, how does this arrive at this stage? Well, well, What's I the take interchange it from, between you two? I take it from Desmond's drawing, of course, yeah. which is very, usually very loose, but you can see what it is and uh, start basically with a mock-up sometimes and uh, Desmond will come in and add to it. And, <laughs> and uh, it's, Well, it's really a give and take yeah, thing. Yeah. You know? I, I learn from him all mm -hmm. the time. You know? He's the master. And yeah. But you see, but the, uh, like this, this, is, this is like three quarters of the way there. The cartoons is to come over the top, and uh, there's a tapestry to come in here, which is always been the same, the same stylistically in the same um, uh, manner. It's uh, 
it's like a con you invent a convention to speak in. It can be a little exhausting from time to time, but it's um, when it works like this, it begins to really pay off. And there's some heads Kenny made up ab above that. Um, You see here again, it's, um, oh God, there, there, are, there are things to come here like suits of armor still to be made. And um, but all of this is in brown paper. That's good. It's, it's, I felt it was an easier um, um, material to give us the maximum amount of texture in the, in the time available. Very good. I'm not, I'm not very high tech. Uh, if I can Why? push it, I don't understand it. I, I don't know, I'm not very bright. But if I can push it and pull it and lift it, then it's okay. All right. Why, why isn't Desmond high tech? Well, because he gets more out of, out of the everyday materials than, than going high tech. He gets all his texture in. That's mm. his signature, basically. I think like what's, a painter, I guess. What's what is that? Drawing? So it ends up looking like what he's drawn. But, but computerized flaws and digital, I mean, I've mm, lost me. I can't control them. You see, the, the technology, I can't, if I can't control it myself, you can tell these guys that I'm a control freak. Do it like this. No, 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 like this, like this, like this. Which you can't do with, a, with, a, with um, other, wonderful though they are, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I just don't like them. Because uh, I can't go back. The, these well, digital is not tactile. You're, yeah. Everything you talk about yeah. is tactile. Everything you yeah. talk about I, is nothing, yeah. and then there's something, yeah. then you don't know where it came from. Because I rely on them all. I rely on everybody. To I mean, the number of shows I've done here where the crew have saved me, have saved my backside. The crew. In what way, if anything? Oh, I can't, um, because they're the people that actually do it on stage. These are the guys that actually build it. When it gets out there, they're the guys that look after it. And, it, and, the, um, and I've known designers who, I'm very grateful to all that. It, it makes me look terrific when it all works. And hopefully, hopefully, on the good ones, it's fun. And it's exciting. The minute it stops being fun, I'm out of here. I don't want to know. We've suffered enough with it. I mean, it's hard work anyway. And your conscience does somersault from time to time. But um, to, to me, it's a privilege to be a designer and to be able to use all this. And I want everybody else to feel the same. One day I'll be a divine right king and I'll, they'll have to work my way. <laughs> so if I got a roll of muffler tape, you could yes. make me a crown? Easily. <laughs> In a flash. In a flash. In a flash. Muffler tape, masking tape, scotch tape, so uh, we'll pool, the pool, pool noodles. Muffler tape for a crown. Yeah, pool noodles. Um, what else do we have? Spoon, plastic spoons. Mailing tubes. Mailing tubes. This is all mailing tubes. All those are. You can see the cracks. You see. Right. They're all and mailing spoons, tubes. Spoons. Uh, plastic spoons. They're in the. They're in the. the, the uh, they're one. in the vases. The plastic yeah. spoons. Yeah. <coughs> These. Oh. Capiche. Spoon there. Rose spoons there. This is the muffler tape. Can you see? Yes. Yeah. Feel the weight of it. <laughs> That's what I, this is to me, this is much more precious than the real thing. I mean, you can see it real, you think, oh, oh, okay. But how do they do that? You know? How do they do that? It's always intrigued me.